Hello everyone, Onion Core here. Um, I just wanted to talk today um, about uh, the the anti-feminist SJW um, uh, skeptic rationalist uh, uh, whatever uh, community, and I, I kind of I'm kind of want to angle this video directly at them, as if I'm speaking to them now. Now, when I say the, the community, I mean the, the people that make the, the videos on places like YouTube about um, SJWs, feminists, um, and all this hyper-liberal or progressive uh, crap that's going on in our world. These people uh, speak out against these things and try to give a point of view that is counter to it and debunks those things. Now, my message to these people is that I wish you to continue to do what you're doing. Um, not just that. Um, it is that uh, some of the things that you've done in the past that that you think you, that you want to get away with, from that you think that you're um, I don't know you're growing out of uh, the, these things are still important. Now there are others that have come up and taken up the mantle of these things, while other while some have dropped them. Uh, but I just want you to understand how these things affect your your viewers, people like myself. Now let's talk about my past. My me in the past, I I've always felt that something was wrong. I just couldn't put my finger on it. I didn't know what was wrong. I I just I just I saw common sense things. Things happening that just common sense would tell you that this is wrong, but it kept getting pushed and pushed and pushed, and and I started listening to um, you know the big names, the ones that were out there like Glenn Beck and and uh, and others of his like before him uh, Rush Limbaugh and uh, one I really liked. I started listening to you know, talk radio, which is uh, Neil Bortz and, and Herman Cain. And they started to open my eyes a little bit. And uh, one thing that Neil Bortz always used to say is, uh, don't trust anything I say unless you already know it to be true or you've looked it up. And so I started to do that. I started to look some stuff up. And I think it was around the time of, I'd say, Gamergate. I, I kind of came a little late to Gamergate, right at the end. I didn't really understand what it was until probably a year after uh, it was over. But then I started, I, 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 I started to watch some of the videos of some of these people, and I, and I started really learning about feminism. And that drove me to some of the like the MGTOW and 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 uh, other content. But I settled into the, uh, what do you call it, like the uh, the feminist ponage channels, the, uh, the the ones that that take a bedroom feminist and and just rip their their arguments to shred. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, he got him. Uh, you know, so, sort of things like that. You know. Uh, the thug, li you know, making a point and the thug life symbol comes down and the, you know, blunt and the glasses, and, you know, and the air horn and stuff like that. And see, that was entertaining, but it also gave me some information. It, it also started to widen my, 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 my eyes on these, these subjects. And so... I started to watch more. I, I, I started to pick up some of the bigger names of the of the community, um, like Sargon of Akkad and you know a Bering and and uh, a uh, Thunderfoot and a Mundane Matt and and um, 
and Dave Cullen, Computer, Computing Forever. And I started to really watch these and, and I would click the links. I would click the, uh, you know, the, the, the ones that, uh, that were like it. And I would start searching out some, some new and new content. And now on Facebook, I have like a crap load of people I follow. And I, I, I like listening to your videos, but the thing was, I started noticing a difference. I started noticing uh, a something happen as the time went by. I would say the bigger content creators, um, some of the more, uh, they might consider themselves intellectual content creators, are trying to get away from that uh, feminist ponage and, and um, SJW ponage videos and they're they're kind of acting like it's oh well that's just it's it's gauche it's it's so passe I mean uh, why why would people I mean there are just some lower youtuber people they still do the the, the ponage videos oh oh I pwned a feminist oh I pwned an SJW it's so uh, it's so low-hanging fruit it's it's such an easy target. Well, I just want to say to you that these easy targets are what get people started. Like myself, it's what got me started on watching your channels, on watching watching this community. Uh, now, there are some people that I that I that, that I follow that still ha have have. Uh, these videos like one is uh, a, actually the reason I wanted to make this video was because I watched this video and I started to realize that yes I've seen it all before yes yes I see his argument but there was a it was a video by Anarchy Ball I mean I'm sorry uh, I mean Mr. Dapperton we won't tell anybody about the facelift Anarchy Ball don't worry nobody knows that you used to be Anarchy Ball Mr. Dapperton but <laughs> uh, but he was he was roasting this bedroom feminist about uh, intersectional feminism and how she was complaining about about uh, you know white feminism and, and <laughs> white feminists and they're not intersexual because people of color and POCs and it's like oh oh I've heard this all before why is it so boring. And then I realized, wait a minute, no, this is the stuff that got me started. This is the stuff that drew me in, the stuff that was like, oh my goodness, there are people that are actually fighting against this stuff? Go, yes, pwn those people. And as I saw in myself that move towards a little, um, uh, what is it, uh, just, just uh, tired of hearing the same thing over and over again, uh, I realized that that's what the content creators are doing. Maybe they don't realize it. Maybe they do. But, but I mean, even like my videos, my, mine aren't really the kind of videos that would be considered in this category. I, I, I just say my thoughts, my feelings and stuff. And every now and then I come out with a, with a video because it's a hobby. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's not anything for money or anything. But like my videos versus theirs, my mine is you know low quality. I do it all on, you know, Windows Movie Maker. I I, I just got uh, what is it, OBS Studios, uh, Open Broadcast System or whatnot. And I'm trying to figure that stuff out. But these people that make the content, they know what they're doing, and they've got they've got decent production value, and and they they know how to how to bring this to you to way the way people would want to see it the way i want to see it uh, but i just think that there are some that are getting too um too intellectual like um i would say teal deer is one of them that that kind of walks this line teal deer is more of an intellectual but then he also like if you ever listen to his live streams <laughs> 
<laughs> he's funny as hell and he will get into a little bit of a little bit of ponage yes that's ponage uh teal deer uh, hello everyone it's teal deer uh, <laughs> with his little accent and all that kind of stuff um but uh pretty much what i'm saying here is that this needs to continue the ponage needs to continue now, it doesn't have to be every video, but realize that that is what hooks people. That's what brings people in. There are, just like with uh, Donald Trump and catching all these people that were frustrated and just wanted somebody to fight back. When, they, when, when somebody who was living in this world, noticing that these things are wrong, but doesn't know how or who know what's wrong or how to fight it, when they see somebody doing these ponage videos, they feel that 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 just rush of adrenaline. That that yes, go get them. Thank you. Somebody's finally stepping up the bat and and defending what's right. You know, and destroying these people that are trying to screw over our lives. It's it's an important thing. It's, it's, it's what people like me need to get started down the path of watching the more intellectual type people and then realizing that they have their flaws too. They, you know, they're, they're going to make mistakes and they're going to be, they're going to be hypocrites and, and they're, they're sometimes their points aren't going to add up so well. I'm looking at you, Thunderfoot. <laughs> but a, a, what it is 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 the way you relate to these people and a lot of the people in this community i notice are starting to basically distance themselves from that low brow that 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 underclass if you will and i think that's a that's a big mistake just before you build yourself an ivory tower, just realize that you helped fight in the mud. And there are still people down here in the mud fighting. And they need somebody to show them how to fight. Well, that's all I really got to say about that. Um, Thank you for all your videos. I enjoy them. Uh, some of them are great. Some of them, eh, not so. But I, I still enjoy watching all of your videos. And I will tag, uh, I, I will try to uh, tag or send this out to uh, as many of the ones that I, that I follow on a regular basis. Uh, just hopefully you will hear the words of those of us still down here in the mud fight may god bless you and may he keep you all safe